Okay. Uh, yeah. Because as you know, during the Harlem Renaissance time, that was when all of the literary giants and Harlem was really literally jumping. Mm -hmm. You know, not only intellectually, but otherwise mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Well, at any time, at the time when we lived there, we lived in an apartment on 122nd Street, to be precise. And at that time, the owners of the buildings, or the brownstones as they call them, daily still swept their steps and the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. And not only did they sweep them, excuse me, not only did they sweep them, but they also washed them down. Mm -hmm. Daily. Daily. Mm -hmm. That was part of the routine. Mm -hmm. But my mother, having come from Georgia, mm -hmm. She pretty much uh, was very, very protective of me. And because my father at the time was in the Merchant Marine, he wasn't home most of the time, mm -hmm. she did not allow me to go downstairs in the street and play with other children my age, mm -hmm. who, as I could see them from the window, they were happily playing jump rope and hopscotch mm -hmm. and all that. She mm -hmm. wouldn't let me go downstairs mm -hmm. to play. Mm -hmm. When she finally allowed me to do so, uh, I was a latecomer, you know, and what have you. So when I was given a choice by my mother, did I want to move, of course I jumped at the chance to return to Athens. Mm -hmm. And when I got to Athens, that's when I experienced freedom. Because at that time, the projects, the ones right across the street, mm -hmm. the landscape and everything used to be absolutely fabulous. Okay. And I used to be able to ride my bike down the curves, around the curves, mm -hmm. past the beautiful flowers and everything, okay. and I became a tomboy instantly mm -hmm. as I had freedom. Okay. You know, I could stay out even when the lights were out, you know, cut, as long as I was in a uh, hearing distance of my mother's voice. Okay. Calling, Aggie, come in, okay? So and you so moved back to we the moved West back Broad to Athens. Street project. We did. And you were about how old? Oh, I was about uh, 11 or possibly 12. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and that's so when I began my attendance at the school, yeah. which was located just across the street from us. Okay, you mentioned um, riding your bike and you described some of what you saw in terms of the flowers, and t tell me about that. It was gorgeous. Okay. To me, certainly it was, mm -hmm. coming from the Con Creek right. of New York City, with mm -hmm. the, you know, the only place there, and because my age, I don't think moms had taken me. We might have gone to the zoo mm -hmm. once, but I don't remember it, you know. But I was not accustomed to nature okay. and, 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 and all of that. Mm -hmm. So, And you yeah. also talk about the, the freedom. And so describe a little bit about that and your interaction with um, other, other groups, other groups uh, kids, adults, because you were, it he was, was free and you was out engaged as a young person. It was interesting that you yeah. asked me that. Mm -hmm. Of course, coming from New York, I didn't have the mindset mm -hmm. of most of the children that I, you know, played with, or most of the people, period, mm -hmm. that, you know, any efforts. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't find it uh, entertaining or fun to play dollhouse okay. or uh, to, uh, what do they call paper dolls, you know, you put the clothes on the dolls mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. or dolls, which my mother had the consciousness, and I bless her for it, mm -hmm. she bought me only black dolls, okay. way back even at that time, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't grow up with this thinking of, you know, Oh, the white, I wouldn't have picked the white doll mm -hmm. as a standard for beauty. Right. All right. But anyway, I didn't like playing the girl games because the only girl game that I liked to play was jacks. Mm -hmm. All right. But other than that, I ran with the boys. Okay. It's as simple as that. Okay. I climbed trees and played basketball and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. And 
the year that we arrived, that summer, they opened the pool for African Americans. Okay. And so I got to go to the first pool, swimming pool, mm -hmm. that was built for African Americans. Okay. And it was there that I used to walk all the way across town. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many miles it was. Legion? I beg pardon? At Legion Field? Probably I haven't the foggiest now. Probably. My memory doesn't serve me as to where it was. Mm -hmm. But I know it was a long walk. Right. But I walked it every day, okay. back and forth, happily. Mm -hmm. All right? And it was there that I learned to swim. Okay. Not only did I learn to swim, mm -hmm. but I learned to high dive mm -hmm. and all that good stuff. Okay. All right? It was also, while I was here in Athens, oh no, in terms of my relationships with whites, mm -hmm. all right? because it was so tightly segregated, mm -hmm. I really rarely encountered white people, right. except for the white man who owned a grocery store. You didn't call them grocery stores, and they just said the store. The that store. was up on, the, on at the top of Rock Spring. Okay. At the top of Rock Spring, at the top of the, where the projects are, mm -hmm. began at, up there. Mm -hmm. There was a white man there, and that is where all the people shopped. Mm -hmm. And I remember that he used to give them something called credit. Mm -hmm. And they could buy things and pay them, you know, and so forth. Mm -hmm. But that was the only encounter that I really had mm -hmm. during my first year here. Mm -hmm. However, because it was still boring to me, um, I decided to try to earn some extra money. And I sent off for an, an, an ad that I saw in a paper that was called the Pittsburgh Courier. Okay. And that paper was one that one you received by mail. Mm -hmm. And in the paper was an ad for news paper okay. I answered it mm -hmm. and they sent me a batch of newspapers. I got on my bike and I began to travel all over Athens mm -hmm. into the white section. Okay. And I did that successfully mm. because I would just ride up, see a house, and just park my bike, go up to the door, knock on the door, and tell them my name. Hello, my name is Agatha, and this and that. I'm a representative of Pittsburgh Courier, and I actually got subscriptions. Okay. And I did that successfully until one day riding my bike, there was a, a beautiful, a very large house, and it had a, a lawn you know, a normal lawn that was like level with the house. Mm -hmm. But then there was a portion of the lawn that came down to the sidewalk. Okay. Okay, so it's like a little hill that mm -hmm. you have to walk up some steps to get there. Mm -hmm. Well, at the top of this little, at the top of the, the lawn, I saw as I was riding what I thought was a statue. And there it was, you know, and I said, oh, that, that was something interesting to me because the other statues I used to, I was accustomed to seeing were those that were little black, you know, like sambo looking people. Okay, know. okay. So this one was huge. Mm. And it looked like I wasn't sure until I got closer. And I said, oh, it looked like some sort of dog, right? But I thought it was what? A statue. Mm. But when I got off my bike and mm. started up the steps, the dog rose. Oh. <laughs> And when the dog rose, I froze, mm -hmm. turned around, slowly walked back to my bike, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that was the end of my <laughs> newspaper <laughs> New <laughs> adventure. Right. Mm -hmm. right. But I was, as I said, an intrepid uh, tomboy, okay. as, they used, as we used to be called mm -hmm. then. Okay. I was an intrepid tomboy, mm -hmm. and so, of course, naturally, I got involved with basketball. Okay. And I became so obsessed with basketball mm -hmm. that when my mother decided it was time for us to leave Georgia mm -hmm. and return back home, mm -hmm. which is New York, right. of course, New York City, uh, she did so based on the fact that she felt that the educational system down here mm -hmm. was far behind what was offered up north. Okay. Let's, let's go back a second, uh, a little bit in history and talk about when you entered West Broad School and give me your impression of the school, the teachers, the... I was amazed. You, was, you were amazed? I was amazed. Okay. I was amazed mm -hmm. at 
the manor. Now, the school that I attended in Harlem mm -hmm. was nothing like the schools are today, you understand? Right, okay. I mean, we were all still very respectful of teachers and so forth. Mm -hmm. But even at that age, I began to experience and taste racism. Mm -hmm. Because I noticed that the parts in plays or different activities that we would put on, mm -hmm. uh, the lighter skin African American okay. could be chosen instead of the others. Mm -hmm. And of course, I was very resentful because I just knew I could do whatever it was was supposed to be done better than anybody mm -hmm. else. Okay, mm -hmm. but nobody ever chose me. Okay, okay? but in any case, um, when I got here, the level of obedience. And the level of, I mean, the manner of behavior mm -hmm. was very foreign and strange to me. Mm -hmm. Because here, everyone said, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, ma'am, mm -hmm. what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, their manner of speech, their speech patterns. Mm -hmm. They were totally foreign to me, mm -hmm. and I could scarcely piece together what they used to say. Mm -hmm. You know, but I'm so nosy, or you could say inquisitive. I always want to know what someone else is saying right. that I always ask them to repeat. You know, but the point is, they were totally obedient and docile. Okay. Another thing that they did, which we hadn't done in back in New York. Mm -hmm. I mean, we both here and there, used to daily, before you began the class, salute the flag, mm -hmm. and we said the Pledge of Allegiance. Right. Down here, they had another element that they injected, which was this citing the Bible verses. Okay. And they had it structured so that if you did, you know, and this was a daily ritual, mm -hmm. uh, as you told, uh, as you cited the, the verses, if you did so many, and this is going through the entire Bible now, that's the goal. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as we did so many, we got. I remember we got a bookmark as okay. we board. Mm -hmm. We did so. We went further and 